Welcome to Modern Homestead, Alaska. We're going fishing. Let's go. I just got Aaron picked up. It's Friday night, date night at the Milner's house. We have kicked that back up since Aaron has been working extremely long hours and we have not been getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one time together. So we are back to doing Friday night, date nights. We saw there's this place called Wapo's Tacos down here. We are gonna grab us some street tacos and then headed where? Exactly. Back down to the Kenai and rip some lips. Rip some lips at the Kenai River. So not the Russian. Totally different place. We've never taken you guys. Um, so join us. Let's grab some tacos downtown Anchorage and then head fish. All right, we made Good it. Job. F Street. We're down here by like the art area, the museums. All of the fun buildings. It's such a cute part of Anchorage. So we're gonna head in here and look for some tacos. <laughs> we just got done. Dinner was good, right? Edible. All right. So we're gonna head to the Kenai now. Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways
catching fish like that. Yeah, that's, that's a nice fish. Hold that in so we don't lose them. Tell us the truth. It is your fish. It is. Well, who got the biggest one, too? It is midnight, so we have Whoa. to. We have to go and put these out of the river and then Aaron can start again but I think we're gonna rest for a couple hours and then wait for the sun to start coming back up so that we can see really well and then we'll head back down. What's wrong Aaron? You know when you're a master fisherman fish get heavy so you're like a gazelle running up the stairs. <laughs> hey. Hurts, gotta get it done quick. So Jess is gonna show you how heavy this is. I'm not, I'm not picking it up. Yes, I don't, it. I can't hold it. There's no way. Mm. Holy cow! There's a lot of fish in there. We are back. We slept in the pickup last night. We went to Soldatna at two in the morning for no reason to went to Taco Bell. <sighs> Aaron made coffee on the back of the pickup. Hardly, nearly no one is out here. I have got to warm up. What happened last night is I was freezing. I got hives really bad. Those of you that don't know, I am super allergic to the cold. So when I get wet, you get cold easy and obviously I'm standing in a river. So anyway, we got all dry clothes on. We're about to head out here, start flossing some salmon and uh, see what we can't catch this morning. Oh. Let's go. That's the one thing I learned last night. Slow. Keep backing up. God, you gotta let him come in. Hit 
they always just run away from it. Take the wheel. <laughs> that was like, remember my video with Caleb? So bad. <laughs> no? Hang on. He's past me. Here he comes. Oh. Yep. You see him now? No! get a new hook. That has to be the hook. Oh. 
fish on. Back up. Keep backing up. Oh, real. You're way out. Keep backing up. Yeah, keep going back. Real? Oh, he's pretty. Oh. Oh. He's hooked in the belly. Yeah. Oh, what's up, baby? Huh? Let me see. That's a nice one. You got it? Yep. Kill them for you so you don't hopefully jump out. We limited out today. Last night I limited out. Jessica got one. And today we ran into the fish today and we both got them. And Jessica was a slayer today. So it was a good, good day. Bragged about you with the bones, you screwed that up. No, I got her. I'm trying to pull a little bit more okay. up here. Got it? get our limit yesterday you don't get to like make up for that so anywho Aaron and I Aaron showed you guys how he lays his salmon and he takes off the belly and he takes off the back and I have been doing them a little bit different so this is kind of just a different way of laying the salmon is, you just learned how you just tried this so thing. <laughs> Your magic trick is just even a... from beginning. I don't do it the same way as him, but I've always wanted to be able to do it this way. So what I'm doing is leaving the whole thing, like you just saw. The way to do that is you come in, find the bones, and you just cut down without piercing through the belly. And you can hear it. Your knife. You can see it poking the belly. Okay. And then as soon as you get past the, the fin on the underbelly, you poke through, you go all the way through the tail, flip it over. Aaron's gonna pull eggs for me because we're gonna cure these eggs and use them for silver season. So. It's all still attached. Flip it over. Cut the same area. And then put them right handed. So if 
finding the spine again. And then the knife is at an angle like that, going along the spine, but not cutting up into the meat. And again, we're looking for it to adjust the knife to get past the back fin, and then pop up with it. Slice through and watch your fingers. Let go. Watch your fingers. There you go. Alright, so there's nearly nothing left on that, and the whole salmon both plays with the belly right here. Awesome. So when you clean it up, there's this. Is this poop or blood? We don't blood, know. It's a kidney. We don't, oh, it's a kidney. So we don't want that even sitting in there. Oh, we're done. We're done? Yeah. Come on, We are now at the gas station near Girdwood, Alaska, and we were already here. We went about 20 miles, and the highway, due to a really bad accident, is shut down. The police have put out some bulletins or what have you, and everyone is guessing it's going to be another six or more hours. Um, so we can't just sit there on the side of the road because we were almost out of diesel. We were waiting to get to Anchorage, which what were we from Anchorage? Not even 20 miles. Yeah, we were right there. We were right there. And, um, anywho, long story short, we turned around because six hours without going to the bathroom is no fun. And we think we might just head to Girdwood and see if there's something to eat and just have a little adventure and make the best of a really bad situation, which is way tougher for those involved in the accident than what Aaron and I are having to do, which is hang out in the pickup truck trying to get home. So I'm gonna go in here and look for a toothbrush and then we'll go see what's going on in Girdwood. Where are we at, Aaron? The Double Muskie Inn. The Double Muskie Inn is probably one of the most famous restaurants in the state. And we waited in that line for an hour. So we're in Girdwood, and one of the viewers actually sent us a cookbook from this restaurant, so we're super excited. What is that? Potato nachos. Potato nachos. Nachos, potatoes. Looks pretty dang good. It does look good. Uh, it's, like you do, it's a deep fried potato skin. Huh? It is a deep fried potato skin. Or a baked potato skin. Hot? Mm -hmm. She said it was hot when she set it down. You didn't believe her. So it is Cajun cuisine. It says it's an island with a shrimp and grits, and it smells and looks amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. The food so far has been so good. However, the service has been fantastic. What'd you get? Call it the pepper stick. That's what they're well known for, huh? Look at the size of that. It's like a pepper gravy. Real food. So good. Look at their bread. Oh, oh, who's that? Who that? I call me in a last one. You guys, we are headed out. The whole restaurant is just 
absolute knickknacks and things every square inch stickers road signs trays you name it but Aaron and I are most shocked it is spotless like it is probably one of the cleanest restaurant experiences we have had in the state of Alaska the food was super good service was above and beyond fantastic and the restaurant was just super clean 10 out of 10 we totally recommend it Goodwood is what would you call the ski resort the veil vale. the veil vale of Alaska however Alaska having the highest mountain peak in all of North America is not a ski destination. In fact, we don't have very much skiing here in Alaska. However, you can ski. You can ski and look over the inlet and there is the ocean and where else in the world? We have the most fantastic golf courses and the most fantastic ski resort. So that is where we're at now. Obviously it's summer, we're not skiing right now. Erin and I are going to wander around. We did receive news, the police put out a bulletin. There was a loss of life, a drunk driving incident, and it has shut down the highway for over six hours. As an FYI, if you come to visit Alaska, we don't have a lot of highways, we don't have a lot of roads. And so when incidences like this happen, it does literally shut everyone down so prayers to the family and those that uh you know really reeling from the head-on collision flight for life a couple of people all of the things so it's very very sad and so we're making the best of the situation that we're in as tired as we are it has been 26 27 hours since i picked aaron up yesterday and we headed out no real sleep we're very very tired but we're doing the best we can with the situation we're in we did all of the processing and showed everyone how we do that in our last fishing video and i can link that here at the end of this one if you're curious but the one thing i wanted to show you that we've never shown is these are the salmon eggs and we are going to turn these into bait for unit pounds for silver fishing so we want to weigh them out so these are three pounds i'm going to show you what we're going to do so we have this bait and it is two tablespoons per pound, let me get this tablespoon, of these fresh salmon eggs. And then this is gonna cure the eggs and we are going to be able to use them for fishing. So one, two, three, four, five, So, that's what we're using. And then I'm going to double bag these and pop them in the fridge.
blues till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we love. Honestly, so the whole salmon won't fit in this bag. So I have a different food sealer bag. And it's amazing though, the amount of skill, knife skill that it took to actually fillet this salmon the way that I did is, I impressed myself, I guess is a good way of putting it. And what the goal is with these salmon, I don't know if that'll be in this video or the next, of having the whole salmon like this is I think it will be an awesome thing when we have family up, something like that. What I want to do with these salmon, these two, I kept two of them this way. And the others I just cut off the belly meat and did all of the things once we got it home. But I kept two of them whole like this. And what I want to do is I want to stuff them and put the whole salmon on the smoker. So have like maybe some cream cheese filling, something inside of this salmon, and then smoke the whole salmon as one thing, and then pull all of it off. And I just think it would be such an incredible centerpiece at a meal for like a big gathering and a bunch of friends. And they're beautiful. I took a couple of pictures that I will include of what they look like kind of laid out, but um, they are so big. They will not fit in an 11 inch bag because they are so long. And so I'm having to use the food saver, but that's okay. Everything else is going to pop into the freezer. We're going to seal all of those up as well. And we're going to continue trying to feel, fill our freezer. See the